Hello YouTube. Today is 3rd of March 2018 and I would like to present you our new PCC universal copper for all revolvers, pistols and rifles. Uh, here is the list of the uh, here is the list of the guns that our copper is supporting at this moment. This is just example, of course, uh, we didn't test on any gun, but those works without any problems. So as you can see, our PCC Universal Copper uh, support the following guns in 36 and 44 caliber, uh, originals and replicas made particularly by Pieta, Uberti, Petersoli or Army San Marco. So still, uh, as you can see here, uh, the Remington New Army is supported because it's our uh, most important gun, still. We like this gun very much. And we upgrade this uh, PCA series to other guns as well. So the, this is Colt Navy 1851, Colt Army 1860, Colt Walker, Colt Dragoon, Cattleman, and etc. You see here, and other guns, yeah? Rogers and Spencers, Ruger Old Army, Greenswald and Gunnison, Lemat, and of course, all pistols and rifles. Okay? So this is the list of the guns that our copper is supporting. And to uh, give you some idea how it works, uh, I pick up three most well-known revolvers. I think this is the classic example of uh, all types of revolvers that are very well known worldwide. So the first one it's Remington New Army, 1858, uh, caliber 44, made by Uberti, very classic one. The second is Colt Navy, 1851, caliber 36, so it's a smaller frame, um, uh, Colt, and this is made by Pieta. And the third one is Colt Army, 8060, very famous one, caliber 44, made by Uberti. So I decided to present how it works, our universal copper on those three revolvers. This video is a little bit long because I would like to concentrate on details and show you exactly what you can expect from our copper. So as you can see, if you are familiar with our PCA series of the coppers, that support Remington New Army. This is modified version of PCA. It's almost the same. The difference is the loading head, which is differently designed, specially cut. There is a lot of uh, engineering work behind to find the correct shape of the head to support all those guns, okay? So the capacity, the operations, the quality, the reliability, everything is the same, like in PCA series. The only thing is redesigning the tip of the copper, the loading head here. All right, now inside I put it uh, 150. This is, this is how 150 caps looks like inside. It gives me a chance to uh, have nice shooting all the time. Okay, not to worry about a uh, number of caps inside. Okay, this is beautiful uh, finished uh, copper. Okay, now uh, when you remember our PCA started with Remington New Army, this is the cylinder from the Remington, and I would like to show you in details that when you put our PCC, it's the same perfect fit to the loading head. So as you can see, it's still perfectly fitted to the cylinder of Remington New Army. 
And of course, after this modification, what we did with this head, uh, you can use it on other revolvers. The operation is the same. Uh, and when you cap it, you just push the uh, push and up and down this this direction okay up and down now you can see is is capped this one but of course i will show you how it works on this on those revolvers so let's start with the most challenging one which i think is this small one the Pieta, Colt Navy, 18, uh, 1851, 36 caliber. This beautiful gun, very well known worldwide. Why it is so uh, difficult to cap? Because when you look here on the loading port, there is nothing here, especially no uh, gap, no space. This is very tight, it's very low, uh, space to maneuver here okay therefore we modified our loading head in our universal copper to support even such a very difficult revolver like this one it's of course empty this is caliber 36 and I will now show you in slow motion how it works so you go down up the cap came here okay this is Celier Balot, number four this time. And you go here to this. It's, it's fit perfectly. You can see, I, I will show you in different angles. It fit perfectly to the nipple. Okay. You push toward the, uh, toward the nipple. You push and you release. And, and that's it. And the cap is on the nipple okay and you can repeat this of course so this is how you cap a uh, cold navy here is green one and this is aws a 1075 uh, cap and you go like this you push you push you push here and you release and the cap is perfectly on a nipple okay so this is how it works with the smallest frame cold that we tested on okay now let's move to cold army this one this is called army 1860 caliber 44 made by uberty also very famous revolver very well known worldwide okay but here the capping is much, much, much easier. As you can see here, the space between the frame and the nipple is much larger. And this is here, there is also some kind of uh, more space on this element. Okay? And this uh, help you to maneuver. And this is our PCC prototype, as I mentioned. And now I will show you down up in this position when you when you slide the cap uh, appearing here in the loading head. Okay, and now you can see I will do it slowly. You push and you you can see how very much very good fit it to the nipple to the frame and every everywhere. Okay, and you release and the cap is on the nipple very firmly you can cap all colds when one revolution okay you you don't worry that uh, something is uh, going wrong it will be perfect so once again just example down up you move the, the slide and here the cap pop up in this window now it's it's it's, it's safe it will not fall over uh, or anything you just push towards the nipple push not so not so much because this is this is quite strong instrument and you using this one you have a lot of push a lot of power 
So it means that the cap, as you can see here, the second one, on the nipple, perfect. The cap is put it very firmly. In one revolution, your revolver is ready to go. You don't need to, to put it, to, uh, to use your thumb, to, to, to squeeze it or so on. You don't need it. This is the perfect solution. Okay, and, and the third one that I would like to show you is of course Remington, because we are the fan of Remingtons. And this is why we designed our PCA previous version for Remington. We still think that this is the best worldwide copper for Remington. Of course, this modified version, PCC, is as good as PCA for Remington. It's no problem. You can see here that there is a lot of space, but this is, this, this is the uniqueness of this cylinder, that it is very narrow here in front. Therefore, our loading head has special uh, design. And now that you can see, I will, I will show you. This is the green cap. And we just go to the frame very easily, very easily. And come back, and that's it. Everything is working. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.